Okay, well now we'll talk about how to get the appropriate drape size. This is located in 105 on the right hand side of the hand washing sink. Um, it's on the bottom shelf, you open it up and on the inside of the cupboard there's a chart explaining the drape sizes. A dog gets two and a half, a cat gets two folds, and then a pack gets two folds. You would just pull this out and measure the folds. This would be a half. And then you pull it out to your next fold, and that will determine how much drape material you need. All right, so I'm going to show you how to fold a gown. First, you want to start by having your gown wear the table. You're going to start by bringing up your sleeves. You don't want them actually overlapping each other or touching. You want to have a line kind of like down the middle. Then you're going to bring the back of the gown up and fold that over, not quite all the way in the middle. I'm going to make sure that the armpits of the gown are opened. Do the same thing on the other side. Make sure this armpit is tucked in and pretty. And then you want to fold what you had just folded, fold it over again into the middle. Do that on both sides. Make sure that it's nice and straight. Then you pick it up and you fold it in half, keeping it all straight and nice. Then starting at the end of it, the bottom, you want to accordion it all the way up. You don't want to make it too big so that it doesn't fit. In the autoclave, you want to kind of keep it a nice, smaller, compact size. And when you fold up the top, you're going to have your neckties and just kind of roll them up and nicely set them on top of your pack, well, your gown. Then you're going to fold the towel, make sure the seam sides are down on the table because um, that way when a surgery is being done or something it doesn't get caught in the wicking and contaminate your surgery area. So you take a fold the towel in half and you fold it in thirds basically. And you fold it in half again Then you fold it so that both the ends are facing the same way. And when you end up picking it up, it'll, it'll look like an M as it's facing you. And then you want to leave a tab so that you have somewhere to grab the towel. Alright, so then you want to make sure you have your OK strip and put that between your towel and your gown. Then you want to take the paper drape that Tom talked about for pulling that we have for wrapping our gown. Lay it on the table and you want to put your pack not like right in the middle, you kind of want to set it forward a little bit. You start with the corner on your side towards you and fold it over. And then you want to accordion this back so that the tab is facing you. And then you want to take your side and fold that in. And then the same thing, making sure that at the end that your tab is facing from the direction that it came. You want to make sure now that you really kind of jam everything in there and get it as tight as you can and keeping pressure on everything. So then you're going to take the other side, do the same exact thing. 
trying to keep it as tight as possible. And making sure that your tab is facing in the direction that it came from. Your final one really kind of push everything, keeping it tight. You fold this one over. And then you made this nice little pocket with your other fold and you want to take and shove that tab in there. Kind of keep it nice and laid inside. And then you want your tab sticking out a little bit. And then you want to do a second layer, the same thing. Take your piece of wrap, dark blue side goes down, kind of make it off kilter a little bit. Your tab from your first layer should be pointed at you. And now we'll label the pack, take some of this fancy autoclave tape, tab, put a little tab over the top, and only go a little about halfway below on the bottom. And then on here you would write what your pack is. This one would be a folded gown and towel. If this was a real pack, you would label what kind of pack it is. Is it a spade pack, a neuter pack? And then if there is any differences, Sorry. If, you're, if you were labeling it for a spade or neuter, if there was anything different, like if you had only two towel clamps, you would just label the two towel, the right two towel, the two different towel clamps that you would have on here. If you have doubles that you're supposed to be putting in, you only have one of each, you would take both of them out. You want to have two of the same sizes of anything that's different. Date, initial, and what kind of pack it is. And that's how you wrap and label a pack. When you load the autoclave, you want to pull the handle. The door will open this. A little tube right here on the side that you put distilled water in. You need to check, make sure it's in the green area. If it's in the red area, you need to refill it with some distilled water. There's some trays right here next to the autoclave. You would put your pouches right on there or your instruments, and you would put it in the autoclave. And then you would close the door. And then you have an option for flash sterilization if you have something that needs to be sterilized quickly. Uh, peel pouch option and the surgical pack option. You just pick your option and then you hit the start button and you want to run it for at least 15 minutes at 15 psi for either at either 250 degrees Fahrenheit or 101, 121 degrees Celsius. A minimum of 15 minutes but you can run it longer than that if you need to. 